taking it for granted Acts 14 and 22 is the case Exhorting each other to continue in the faith Confirming the souls of the disciples Keep them in my prayers Uplift them with the Bible Gathering together Not being idle because of the devil Have you caught up in titles Being prideful Cause you know a few scriptures In God's kingdom there will be no niggas Open the blinds on your window Take off the blindfold and uncover your Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 7 For what nation is there so great who have God so nigh unto them? So he said what nation is there that's so great as Israel? Watch that has God so near to them meaning that he was always dealing with us. Read. As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that have statues and judgments so righteous as is all as all this law which I set before you this day. Mm -hmm. It said, what nation is as great as Israel? No one. At that time, nobody. Watch, right? read. Even today, nobody. Because when we get back in our rightful place, it's going to be on the cracking again. Read. That's right. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thou thine eyes have seen. He said, keep your soul diligently. I mean, do the right thing unless you forget. And you know what we've done? We forgot his commandments. We forgot how great we were. Now we think that we're just raggedy niggas on the block sitting around drunk with our pants sagging. You should probably pull your pants up, man. Read. At least they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. It said unless, it said, it said if you don't do this, it said they'll depart from you. So now what do our parents teach us? Smoke weed, drink. get girlfriends, drink, get Try faded. Anything. Yeah. Do anything you want to do. But you're getting there, right? You know you know that a drunkard don't get the kingdom, right? I get the kingdom because I'm a good person. Look, that, that's not what the Bible said. Give me a uh, first Corinthians six and six, six and nine. Let me let me show you what this Bible said, man. I'm gonna show you a couple of things and I'm gonna get right back to what we was talking about. Well I gotta handle this real quick. Watch, read. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. What does righteous mean? What, is, what, what does it mean to be righteous? A good person. It means to be a good person? Is that what the Bible said? So what is a good person? A good person is somebody who is a Before we go there, give me um, Matthew 19 and 16. Let's see if, let's see if you're a good. No, no, no. Let's see. I, I, I ain't going to lie. Ah, ah, hold on, stop. You, you no, talk too much. Hold on one second. Read. I ain't going to read. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? So Christ said, Why are you calling me good? Let's see what he says about I'm a good person. Read. There is none good but one. So you're not a good person. There's only one good. Read. That is God. God is good. You find the midst of sin. So until you get right, I'm you know just, what I'm saying? Someone say every day though, I ain't gonna lie. But you gotta stop sinning. You gotta repent. You have a Bible in your bag and don't read it? Man, for this. So I'm asking question, you got a Bible in your bag and don't read it? We have to now it. So, so you know that you're in the midst of sin. You know tonight's a Sabbath, right? I know I'm, I know I'm a sinner. I'm so, a sinner. so what needs to happen is we need to repent, right? What does it mean? What is sin? What is sin? Basically, why you fucking break your fucking heart? No, I'm saying what is the definition of sin according to God? Oh, well, let's see. Let's take a look. Because if you say you were sin every day, you should know what it means. Yeah. So you don't know what it means. No. So you don't know if you're a sin or not. I sin every day. But if you don't know what it means, how do you know you're a sin? I'm not a sinner. I sin every day. Well, you said you sin every day, but I'm asking, what does it mean to sin? No one wants to tell me. Okay, well, I'm just saying, if you say that you're in the midst of sin, you should know. Tell me says, we're going to. Wait. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law for sin is the transgression of the law sin is breaking God's law bro. sin is breaking God's law so if you're breaking his law yes you're in the midst of sin do you have to break his law nope. you do it on purpose right give me willful sin man I ain't give me if you sin willfully sometimes. let me show you something we gotta repent man so you have a bible in your bag and you say you read it sometimes but do you understand what you read yeah. Not really? Some, some, so this is the thing. Do you believe in the Bible? 
The Bible is handwritten. Okay, so but the Bible is written by the, the who is the Bible written by? I don't know who the fuck written by a whole bunch of white men. Oh, you think white men white men wrote this white men white men wrote this book? Man, go back. You know what to do. Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. Listen, and he gave unto Moses when he had made an inner community with him upon Mount Sinai. Two tables of testimony, tables of stone. Written with the finger of God. Who wrote the Bible? That's who wrote the Bible? See, this is the problem with our people. They're wicked as hell. This nigga gonna come up here and try How to you come, come up here, nigga. Because you, you act like a nigga. Man. You just you're, black like man. A nigga. you're not acting like a black man. You're acting like a nigga. No. Your pants is hanging off your behind. You're walking around here drunk. You're walking around here with a Bible in your bag talking about F the Bible, but then got nerve to pull it out and show me that you have it. But then got nerve to come up here I and say, tell me something wicked, bro. Shit. And then walk around yeah. like this. This is the problem. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. I'm good. Isaiah 58 and verse 1, man. Let me tell you something, bro. You bugged out your damn mind. You need to repent before the most I help you catch a bus. You know and I don't mean riding one, I mean catch a bus in the chest. Figure it out, man. Read. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Yes, it is. Cry aloud. Spare Lord, not. Guess what? Lift up thy voice Officer like a trumpet. It says, Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Read. Yeah, I've been drinking and all day. And show my people guess their transgression. And show my people what? My their transgression. And show my people their transgression. Wait, yeah, so, I brother, like look at me, man. Hey, man. So, here's what we're doing is we're bringing out showing you your transgression, and you just running your mouth. How old are you, man? How old am I? How, how old are you? you? How old, I'm asking the question, how old are you? But why does it matter? I'm asking, how old are you, brother? See, the problem with you is that you just came over here to, to be seen. I want to hear you guys. Shit, you don't want to hear nothing. You, all you want to hear is some bull crap, man. You, you, you don't want to hear nothing. Read. And show my people their I'll transgression. Fuck show my crap, people their transgression. So here's what it is. This dude run around here with his pants sagging off his ass, looking like a homo. You know that's a homo fashion, right? Yeah. That's a homo fashion. Where did it? Where did sagging so, come so, from? So, so. Where does sagging come from, bro? Where does Prison. it come from? Prison. Yeah, so let me ask so you a question. Why would, why would you walk around? Why would you walk around around grown ass men? Why would you walk around around grown ass men with your behind showing, bro? Why would you walk around grown ass men with your ass hanging out your pants? Man, roll out of here. If you don't want to hear the truth, then roll out, bro. I'm going to tell you right now. You don't, you don't know you don't know anything. The problem with you is that you a nigga, man. You come over here acting like a nigga. Look at you. You don't want to hear nothing. You don't want to hear the truth. You want to come over here and start problems and create problems. And that's what you're doing. Bro, you came over here and said, oh, I want you to know Christ is a black man. You better get right before that black man puts you to death. Read uh, Luke 13 and 3. Let me show you something. Christ will put you to death for being a wicked Negro like you being right now, bro. And you need to repent. Read. Hold on, sis. Read. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. That's said, right. If you, don't, if you don't repent, you're going to die. Because you know what sin is, right? Sin is breaking the commandments, right? So if you keep doing it, then you're going to die. Guess what? You're going to die. See, that's the problem is you want to walk in that, in that way and walk to that. Go ahead, read. Like that. We, no, we ain't belittling nobody. Let me tell you something. We, Isaiah 58 and 1 again. Now listen, now if you would have stuck around long enough, you would have known what happened. You just came at the middle of something. Give me, give me, give me, hold up, hold up. Give me some rock 11 and 8. Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something real quick. All right, read. He acted like a nigga. He acted like a raggedy nigga. It doesn't matter. I got, look, I got the Bible in my hand, but he acted like a nigga. So watch this. Read. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. So we out here correcting our people. The devil ain't correcting nobody. The devil is letting you go ahead and be acting like a nigga yourself. That's what he's doing. So I'm telling you right now, we're correcting our people. So we don't want to Read what you got. Read what you got. Chapter 11 verse 8. Answer not because thou hast heard. The call. It says, do not answer. Do not come interrupt people before you hear the call. You don't even know what's going on, so roll out. Ain't that what they're saying, Walmart? Roll out. Read. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. It said, neither interrupt men in the midst of their speech. So we out here bringing out something and you only got the end of it and don't even know what's going on. So roll out like Walmart. Read. Ecclesiasticus chapter 11 and verse 8. Answer not before thou hast heard the call. It said, do not run your mouth before you know what's being talked about. Do not open your mouth before you know what's being discussed. You come over here to the defense of this raggedy nigga that's drunk, acting a damn fool. We out here trying to bring out the Most High's commandments to get our people right. 
and then you gonna come over here doing that. We ain't got time. We are not out here to play with y'all. We are not the pastor. We are not the uh, the poor child pastor sitting back just talking all night. We out here to correct our people before the structure come and destroy them even more than they are. Hit it again. So Rock, chapter 11 and verse 8. Answer not before thou hast heard the call. Do not run your mouth but talk about and come and be and interrupt people's conversation before you know what was being talked about. Read. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. It says, and do not interrupt men when they talk it. Wait for a time, and then when you get a chance, speak. Understand that. Now read Isaiah 58 and 1. Bitch ass nigga. Isaiah. Yeah, you know what? You better be careful before you do catch that bus, like I said, bruh. Read. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. It says, cry aloud and spare not. I ain't out here to spare nobody's damn feelings. It said, cry aloud and spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's what we're doing. Read. And the house of Jacob their sin. It says, show the house of Jacob their sin. Show them where they wrong. So now you know what sin is, bro. You better correct yourself. Read. And show the, and the house of Jacob their sin. Now. Uh, the problem with our people, man, is that they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the right thing to do. They want us to speak, uh, give me the one about speaking smooth things to us. Speak some smooth stuff. We want y'all to tell us how good we are. How we gonna go stroll in the kingdom looking like niggas. That's not what the Bible says. Come on, read, man. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children. Children that would not hear the law of the Lord. Read it again. Hold up. Read it again. Now watch. Read it again from the top. Come on. Verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that would not hear the law of the Lord. So it's a rebellious children, a lying children. The brother came up trying to be funny. He came up trying to interrupt what we was doing. And then he's like, yeah, Christ black man. I hope y'all know that. Then he want to pull out his Bible and show me that he has it. But then everything I asked him, he couldn't answer the question. And then, he told, and then he told the truth about how he really feel about the Bible. So then she going to show up. But see, that's how the Most High work. He let the demons come out together. That's right. So she going to come defend him and not standing here listening to us. And we got Bibles in our hand. He got a beer in his hand. We got Bibles in our hand. But the black woman, the loudmouth black woman, wants to come over here and defend that nigga, man. But not defend us. This is the problem. When we come out here and teach and tell people, man, quit drinking, quit doing this, get your head right, pull up your pants, man, be a damn man. Now something's wrong with us? Something's wrong with us when we tell our brothers to pull their damn pants up and stop walking around like damn homos, like sodomites, man. Read. That this is a rebellious people, lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So when I brought out the law, start bringing it here. All right, I want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. All he wanted to do was be on camera. He didn't want to hear nothing. He was like, I'm out. But then she want to come defend him. Come on, read. Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not. So, so what we bringing out, they don't want to hear that. Nah, we don't want to hear that. We want y'all, you got to come out here and say good stuff to the people. You got the Bible in the hand. You both say good stuff. Did the Most High not kill all the people on the face of the earth except for eight? So what was good about that? What was good about that? That means the Most High will put everybody to death. That's right. So why are we sitting out here playing games when he's already done it once? What, we think, we think somehow we're special because we work at Walmart? That's foolishness. Our people are destroyed. Like I said, dude could have came out here and had a damn pistol on him, and she would have defended his ass before she defended us. But then when her, when something happens to her, her kids behind niggas like that, the first people that they come to is brothers like us. Help us. What y'all gonna do? We were trying to do something before it happened. We can't do nothing after it happens. We're trying to be proactive and get our people to get their heads right now. We ain't waiting for them uh, to do something wrong and then they're like, oh, come and defend us now. No, read. Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Yes, yeah, said prophesy what? Prophesy not unto us right things. It said, do not bring out the right things. What are the right things? The commandments of the Most High. That's the right things. It said, don't prophesy that to us. Tell us how cool we are. Tell us how we go to the club. Tell us how, how all we got to do is believe. Speak unto us smooth things. Read. Speak unto us smooth things. 
That's what the Bible just said. These are the people who want us to talk off. Hey guys, hey brother, you probably should stop drinking so much and kind of, you know, pull up your pants a little bit, man. Come on. We ain't out here to do that. We're not out here to do that. The Most High gave us to be, give me a, a, a 1 Timothy 1 and 7. The Most High gave us the spirit to be men. Women talk soft. Men speak loud, That's period. Like if they don't like it, then roll the hell out. Three. Yeah, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Come on. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear. He did not give us the spirit of fear. We are not sitting out here afraid to speak and bring out this Bible. We ain't afraid. We ain't gonna sit and be old man, the, boy, the black girl told us to shut up. Maybe we should shut up, y'all. Three. But of power. But of what? But of power. He did not give us the spirit of fear, but gave us the spirit of power. That's right. He gave the black man and the Hispanic man the spirit of power. Read out. He did not give us the spirit of fear, but the problem is we're running around in fear. Black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, we run around here in fear, afraid of every damn thing. But the most I said, he did not give us the spirit of fear. He gave us the spirit of power. Read. But of power and of love. And of a sound mind. Love and of a sound mind. Let's see what love is because she said, you're supposed to speak with your brother with love. Let's see what love is. He said he gave us a spirit of power and love and of a sound mind. When a person's drunk, are they of a sound mind? Hell no. They all bugged out like that dude. He don't even going to remember what he said. Read. Second John chapter 1 verse 6. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning. It said, this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is love that we walk after his commandments. So when we teach the people the commandments, that's showing them love. Because the hatred is us just letting them go and do what they're going to do when we know what's going to happen to them. If, if breaking God's commandments put us in this condition, if we keep doing it, how worse is the condition going to get? It's going to get bad. It's horrible right now, but we just float around, do whatever we want to do, letting people disrespect us, disrespecting each other, not giving a damn. Read it, man. Back to, uh, yep, Timothy. First, Second Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. First Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love. And of a sound mind. That's and right. And of a sound mind. So let's see where that brother was out of line at. Give me Titus 2 and 6. He said he gave us a spirit, a, a, a sound mind. He gave a sound mind. So the brother was not in his right state of mind. Come on. Titus chapter 2 verse 6. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. He said do what? Young men, likewise, Exhort to be sober-minded. So were we right by bringing out what he needed to do? According to the Bible? Tell him, brother, you know, get right. Quit drinking so damn much? Was that, was that a good, was that a right thing to say or should we just have been quiet? The Bible say what? Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. It said be sober-minded. Our young men should be sober-minded. Now, can they drink? Yes. But in moderation, you can't be walking around all over the place, drunk, stumbling in people's business, cussing people out, talking about F the Bible because it's corrected. They hate correction. Give me a uh, Sirach. Sirach, chapter 32, verse 17. A simple man will not be reproved, but find an excuse according to his will. See that a sinful man, meaning somebody who's breaking God's law, will not be corrected, but will find a way to continue doing what he's doing. He'll find an excuse to do what he wants to do, and that's what we just saw. I want you to give me one more scripture before I go back to what I was talking about. Give me uh, Jeremiah 1 and verse 7. So this whole thing, when we come out, this is what we deal with on a regular basis. We're sitting there bringing out knowledge, and everybody want to come and interrupt because they don't know what we're talking about. They think we're just out here like, y'all, 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 y'all. That's not what's happening. We're bringing out the truth. We're bringing out a history that we don't even know existed. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 7. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. So the Most High said he gave us a spirit of power, so we can't be like, well, I can't do this, I'm afraid. That's, what, that's a child spirit, is to be afraid. Read. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. 
He said, wherever I tell you to go, go. We've been to different places. We've been in different cities in, in Colorado. He said, go here, go here. Now we're here for a reason. We're right here for a damn reason. And so he said, go where I tell you to go and speak what I tell you to speak. We ain't out here speaking our own words. That's right. We never come out and speak our own words. We always bring it out the Bible. Read. Verse 8. Be not afraid of their faces. So right, the dude's like trying to come up and think he's tough. Hey, I ain't afraid. Ain't nobody going to run and jump and duck and hide. He said, don't be afraid of their faces. Come on. For I am with thee. He's what? For I am with thee. We are not afraid of these people, man. The Most High is always with us. They, all these people that come and try to bring harm to us is going to get jacked up. That's, That's right. right. And not only that, but if they come across the side trying to be tough, they're going to get laid out. Period. They're going to get laid out. Because we ain't out here. We ain't out here just going to be uh, let people put hands on us. Read. For I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Come on. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. That's why we speak this Bible. These are his words. He said, I put thy words in thy mouth. See, if brothers would listen to what we're bringing out, the police would not be rolling around here beating their ass. If they would listen and get right, the police wouldn't be putting them to death. There would be no reason for these white police to be in our neighborhood if our men would listen. That's right. If our men would correct themselves, if our women would listen and stop being the, the fallout chick, the chick who got to shove something up inside her because the police done pulled everybody over. Girl, hide this, hide this. You know, if I get caught again, I'm going straight up. She's like, okay, daddy. The hell is this? Our people are destroyed. And that's what I'm saying. Our women are bugged out. They will come defend the raggedy dude, but won't listen to what the prophets is bringing out. Read. Verse 10. See, I have set thee this day. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out. So we're rooting out all these nasty cavity ass lies. We're rooting them out. Come on. And to pull down. And we're pulling down everything that they created and everything that they say is, is the truth. We're pulling it down. Read. And to destroy. And to destroy it. We're destroying these lies. Because we are the greatest people on the planet. And need to start acting like that. That's right. Three. And to throw down. To build. That's why we, once we do all those things, we got to build up our people. But they don't stay around long enough to get built back up. Right. They come over here and we got to tear them down. Because they come over here with foolishness. So then they get their feelings hurt and they're like, I'm out of here. Fine, roll out. Or what did Walmart roll back? Something. I know it's some kind of phrase they use. Read. To build and to plant. So once we do that, we build and we plant. We plant the seed for them to change. And then it's up to the Most High if you want to keep up. It's not up to us. All we do is go bring out the Word. And the Most High's Word do what it's going to do. They come out here, he got a Bible, don't want to hear it. Because I was... Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.